Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today we're making some butterfly and dragonfly rings. What you're going to need for this project is your wire. I have 18, 20, and 22 gauge wire. I have my flat pliers, round pliers, cutters. I have four millimeter miracle beads and my stepped ring mandrel. So I'm going to start with 18 gauge wire and I'm just going to wind it around a couple of times for the ring base. So we're just going to bring it around a couple of times. You'll need about six to eight inches depending on how big your finger is. We can just clip this one here and I'm going to take my round pliers, bring it around and then I'm going to bend it that way. So this is somewhat centered. So just to this side of the loop, we're just going to bend it out and then around just to make a little loop. So then we're going to clip it and we're going to pinch that so it's closed. And it can just curve around a little bit. So this is the basic shape we have. So now I have about a 12 inch piece of 22 gauge wire and I'm going to form the wings. So we're just going to take this and go across and then across here. You can make it about half an inch wide and then here and here. So once we have, it's like an infinity sign, we're going to take one of them, the shorter one, bring it around and up and we're just going to bend that straight up. So now we'll just put one of the beads on there and we need it to stay in place. So we're just going to cut this quite short, about an eighth of an inch. And we're going to take this one, bend it back and around. So we're just going to make a loop there and just pinch it in. So you can either do the loop uh, parallel or perpendicular. So we're just going to do it that way and then that makes it look a little more fancy if you can see the loop. So now what we have to do is just take this and attach it to the ring. Separate it a little bit if it, it'll be easier for you. And we want to place this in here. It's kind of like my rings to make and sell tutorial. So we're going to put this one in here. Make sure that's sitting right on top and then we're just going to wind this down. You have to wiggle it in a little bit and then just hold it firmly and wind it down as much as you like. You might have to push it in a little bit if it's not like tightly together but just go down as long as you think the tail of the dragonfly should be. So this is a fun design. It's very stylized. Another one that I'm winging it on the fly. I drew it, but I've never made one yet. So you're on the ground floor of this design too. So we're going to clip that and we're just going to take that and rotate it a little bit. So after that, what we want to do is separate the wings. So we'll just Gently take your round pliers, pull it out and down, and this one too. Gently we're going to just separate those. And then we just do the same on the other side. So once you have the two dragon flies done, you'll put it back on the ring mandrel and just make sure it's shaped how you like. And I cannot get over how cute these dragon flies are. Have fun with them. So for the adjustable butterfly ring, we're just going to take about a 12 inch piece of wire and we'll bend it around the halfway point. So just bend it pinch that a bit. We can start this part with the round pliers, bring it around and then pop it on the ring mandrel just to form the shape. So we're going to bring it around and around. So this is going to be at the back. And then from here, we're just going to take the pliers 
and bend one side down and one side down that way and we're going to start to form the butterfly. So we're going to bring that out, in, and in, and then out this way, and then up and down, and down, and then straight up. So we're going to bring this one down, and just try to replicate the other side. Don't worry too much if it's not completely symmetrical. In, around, up, down, down, and So now we want a bead that's big enough to go on both wires. So we're going to just stick the bead on there and just split them apart. Out that way and that way. And from here we want to trim them so they're the same size. So cut it flush and that one too. Cut it flush. And then from there we can make the spirals. So just take the end, so bring it in and then flip it. Hold the end, bring it in. Just rotate it around and around. Just slowly bring it around. There. And then you can get your flat pliers just to adjust them a little more if you need. You can even wind a wire around the middle of the butterfly if you want. If you're worried about these separating, you can always hold this in here near the end and just rotate it a couple of times. Just twist it two or three times until that's more secure in there and that won't come apart. So now we'll put it back on the ring cone, adjust it around, tilt it up a little bit if you want. You can definitely make the butterfly smaller, but that's the idea for an adjustable butterfly ring. So to make the butterfly with the twisted band, we're just going to take this and crisscross this way, hold the end, and we're just going to twist. So the key is to hold these out at an angle that you have a consistent twist. And you're going to want to do enough that it can go around the finger one and a half times. So and then we're going to take this and go around the cone. We would have had to go a little bit further for it to end at the back, but this one can end at the front. We're just going to bend these ones down and start making our butterfly. If you don't have a bead that will go on both wires, just take this, bend it around to the back, put your bead on there, and then bring this one around back behind. So around here, push it down and bring it all the way around and then split these. And then you do the antenna like we did the last one. And then we'll just put it on the ring cone in the position that you want. And there you have your super cute butterfly ring with the twisted wire and it ends at the front, which is really cute. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to submit your email, I will send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.